you like to say, but Jonathan Motley does not listen. And it works out for him. There's that quick release from Alec Peters, something Bob McKinnon raved about before the game, and he hits from deep. Well, and this is the highest volume three-point shooting team in the G League, but it's they're also very efficient at it. Goodwin draws the contact and the bucket. Relation this year, and it's the result not only of natural-born talent, but additional work, and he's going places. Gray with Warren closing out on him still hits. Speaking of 29-year-olds, he's won. Gray fouled by Ashley and the bucket. Aren't we at the point where you kind of you're kind of able to defy position definitions? Does it really matter anymore what your title is? Something. Sun's doing a great job getting out in transition. Here's Mike Young off the feed from Gray. Well, and it's layup after layup after layup. In transition from the perimeter and down low. Young sets the screen for Gray. And he rewards Young, who gets an easy bucket. Tell you what, that guy comes out here early every single game to work on his three-point shooting. And he certainly made tremendous strides. There's Alec Peters with a three, missing from straight away. Scoreboard brought to you by InTouch Credit Union and another backcourt steal for the Sun. No one better in the G League, though, than the Suns at converting points off of turnovers. They've scored now 23 points off of 13 Legends turnovers on the season per game off of turnovers. That's best in the league. They've got 23 points off of turnovers already tonight and looking to make it 25, and they do. Well, that gray is a troublemaker. So now his name's Ken's. <laughs> you adding an S? Here's Solace Jefferson. That's a few threes for him tonight. His third at triple. Gray, step back. And he does the LeBron lower the house. Move. Actually drop back to third in the division. Two games back of the Spurs. And I believe a half a game back of RGV. That's a bad night of work. And there's Josh Gray, 42 points.